Today, District Attorney Larry Krasner and his team shared more details into how inmates escaped from a prison in Northeast Philly this spring. The two inmates, one of whom is accused of four murders, are back behind bars. But as CBS Philadelphia's Nikki Dementory reports, city leaders are sharing new findings in an effort to prevent this from happening again. It's a different scene outside the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center Wednesday compared to nearly six months ago when two inmates escaped over Zoom. This is a public hearing. City council members ahead of the Philadelphia prisons and the district attorney's office met to discuss just how this all happened and what could be done to prevent it from happening again. Larry Krasner says there are three main issues, staffing, an outdated security camera system, and infrastructure problems. I point a finger at no one other than to say that this is something we need to work together on. In a video shared by the DA's office during testimony, you can see the inmates getting out of their cells. Prosecutors say then hiding in the day room before heading outside after a lookout signaled them to go. The grainy video then shows the inmates running across a yard where prosecutors say they eventually escaped through this hole in the fence, which they then learned was there for seven weeks. We have video indicating that um, prison personnel actually were aware of this four days before the escape. Krasner says the investigation uncovered one of the guards left their shift four hours early the day the inmates broke out. And when the next guard came, that person, well, they fell asleep. The district attorney also says these sensor poles used to detect motion out in the yards, the inmates instead climbed them to escape. They have been turned off for more than a decade. Philadelphia Prisons Commissioner Blanche Carney highlighted changes made as a result of the escape, including infrastructure and security repairs, reassigning executive leadership and recruitment efforts during the hearing. While the investigation is still ongoing, I'm unable to provide testimony on additional personnel related actions that may occur as a result. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office says this investigation is far from over about what all happened here in May. But for now, in the Northeast, Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia.